Hey, good morning everybody. Quick video this morning to follow up on the last GNS3 video. Uh, today we're gonna walk through adding a Cisco IOS device or image, if you will, to GNS3. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, we've got GNS3 fired up here. As you can see over on the right, under server summary, we have the GNS3 VM running. That'll happen automatically now that you have it registered every time you launch GNS3. Um, we've started a new project just called it test iOS. So in order to add the iOS Cisco image, you're gonna need to acquire an image. How you get that image is totally up to you. Maybe you have access to download from Cisco. Maybe you own a device that you TFTP to down from. Maybe you have Google searched your way and found one. I don't know, however you get it. Like I said, I'm not telling you how to get it. I'm just showing you how to install it in GNS3 once you have acquired the image. So you're going to click on new template, install appliance for the GNS3 VM. In our case it's a router, Cisco 7200. Again, find your device, whatever you have the image for. Next, install the appliance on the VM, which is recommended. And now you're going to click on the bin file or the image file that it's looking for. And as you see by default it's going to say missing because it doesn't have it. What you're going to want to do first, guys, is click on the Allow Custom Files, accept that, and then import your bin file. So wherever you've saved that off to, let's see, in our case, GNS3, iOS Images, 7200, yes. There you go. So now that we've imported the image, it says Ready to Install. Let's click Next, yes. Now that has been added to the router category, finish. So here it is, as you can see guys, we have a router. One thing I like to do is I like to add a few interfaces uh, to the template so you don't have to do so every time you drag it over into your project. So I'll configure the template. Uh, you can adjust any of this stuff that you see fit, but normally I just go to slots, and by default it's got a single fast ethernet interface. So I'll add in eight ethernet interfaces on a single slot there. So hit okay. Now every time you add one, they'll all have that uh, additional eight ethernet slot. So let's pull one over here. Let's fire it up. As you see, it's up. And now let's just open console and make sure that we have a uh, working device. And there it is, guys. The iOS is firing up. We'll give it a second just to make sure we get um, a prompt here. There it is, guys. Yeah, we have a working router in GNS3. Oops. That's it, guys. Just wanted to show you that today uh, how to get an actual Cisco device added to your GNS3 environment. Um, obviously, you can do a lot more now that you have a running instance of a iOS image. Uh, you can connect multiple routers. You can integrate that with the virtual PCs, um, connect those to the Ethernet switches, whatever you want to do. Possibilities are literally endless. Uh, you can even bridge adapters and hook this up into your physical environment. But again, today just walking through getting the Cisco devices added to GNS3. Um, that concludes part three of this GNS3 series. Let me know what else you guys would like to see in GNS3. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing.